like to show you today is something quite interesting and that is how you can write a book like this which I did recently you can do it in some free software and lay out your music in, in a very nice way with individual pieces of music like this. This is actually a book of Segovia scales. Each scale has a title. You have a title at the start. Uh, they're all in different keys. How I did this was I used Dorico Pro. As I discovered, you can do this in SE. If I'd known this, then I wouldn't really have had to buy Dorico Pro. But there are some advantages in using the Pro version and uh, it, it's got a lot of potential for things that I want to do. So now, if you haven't used the Pro version, then you may not realize what's actually still turned on in the SE version. So let me show you. First of all, when you go into Dorico, what you might be inclined to do is to go and use this Create New menu where you would go and uh, you can select guitar, guitar and tablature, lead sheet, all these kind of things. And uh, if you do that, let me just show you what happens. Click on this one, say create projects. I'm going to take all the defaults the way it's set up right now. But I just want to illustrate something that this is not really the way that you want to do it if you're going to take advantage of what's available to you. Now, here you have tab and standard notation laid out and you have a project title. It's given you a certain number of measures and you could just write your uh, write your music right there and everything's fine. The way that I suggest, I'm going to cancel this and discard that and it goes back to this menu. The way I suggest that you do this is go through the file menu, file new from project template. I'm going to go to solo, guitar and tablature. What we'll see happen now is that you've got this extra title and this is using a flow. Now what a flow is in Dorico is it's a way for you to write a separate individual line or multiple lines of music. You can write a whole page as one flow. You can write multiple pages as one flow. In my case, in this particular book is I had a couple of lines, which was ascending and descending scales. So where you set up the flows is under setup. If I click on setup right there, I'm going to just uh, try and drag this within the, the border uh, just so you can see that. Once we're in setup over here, then it shows you down here that there is one flow. And I'm going to say to you right now that what you should do is plan ahead and decide how many flows you're going to need. Because if you don't do that, there's some kind of glitch in the software where it won't give you these headings if you create flows after the fact. For example, if I started filling this in and uh, putting notes in here and I tried to create another flow, the flow heading may not appear in the additional flows. So just plan ahead, create yourself multiple flows. So I'm just going to put a few flows. I'm going to show you something else right now, which is the fact that when you create a flow, it actually creates by default a flow on a separate page. So if you just want to have a music book with multiple flows, where some may take up a whole page, some may take up just one line. What you need to do is go to Control Shift L, which is the layout options. And in there, you go to uh, Page Setup Flows and in there you'll, you'll notice that it says always start new page for new flow. Uh, the one next to it says allow on existing page. So you want to turn that one on. So now, now we have these flows and they're just appearing one after the other. So that gives us a lot of flexibility. So let's just continue. I'm going to write something in the standard notation. The reason I like to use the notation is because I can Double click on here and I can start typing the note names on the keyboard. I've done another video about how you write things in Dorico and it's quite different from other softwares. Great. I'm going to copy this. Uh, and one way to do that is you click on this. Uh, I forgot what they call this little bar across the top here, but you can, I'm going to select that and then you click on this square in the corner there and I'm going to go Control C for copy. So probably got that and double click down here and I'm going to go paste down there. And what I'm going to do with that is I want this in a different key. Let's say I, I have this now in, in the key of C. I want to go down to G and I'm going to push the Alt key and push the uh, arrows down to G. I'm going to hit the escape key right now. Uh, notice it hasn't changed the key signature. So what you need to do to change the key signature, I'm just going to uh, select that first note. Uh, you go Shift 
K for key signature. Now I could just type in the note G. Make sure you type a capital G because that means it's G major and enter. Well, let's, let's go back to this one. Let's say I want to put, uh, you notice I didn't put a time signature yet. So what I can do is I can go shift and you have to type in M for meter and you go four slash four. That's given that some, some measures. So now let's look at giving these some titles. Uh, you notice if you double click on this, it's got what Dorico calls tokens. You know, we can replace these or do anything you like with these titles. So where you get access to those is if you go to file project information, you can also do control I. Um, here you see, you see that uh, we have the project name. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, Twinkle Project, right? Twinkle Project, and I'm going to call the first flow C Twinkle. And say apply. It has a title right now. Close this. Now, if you didn't want to have these numbers in here, you could just take this out. Say delete. And all you have is the, the title. So now let me show you some more interesting things. You'll see that in this first flow over here that we have five bars on the first line and three bars on the second. So if we want to do what's called a system break there, what we can do is select that bar. Now, even though we don't have the menu that's in the uh, pro version, we can go to edit. What we need is a system break. I put that there and that gives us four measures on each line. Now let's take a look uh, I already mentioned that you can go to the project information and uh, you can fill out all of these flows. Uh, interestingly, not sure if this works, but um, so subtitles are not enabled for this, but I believe if you wanted to put a subtitle, let's see, close the bracket and let's see if that works actually. Okay. All right, so it does work. Um, so actually, if you wanted to put a subtitle on a different line, you probably have to reduce the size of the text. That's 13 point, Let's see if that's gonna work. Okay, click somewhere else. Okay, so there, there's a way you could do that just so that you're aware. Also in these, you can use these tokens and uh, put whichever tokens you like in here. And you can also write, you know, some separate text in there. Um, I can put a note here. You know, you got a certain amount of freedom with the text that you can put in here. And of course, if you wanted to, you could uh, justify that to the left. Now, interestingly, if you go to the second page, uh, this does not have a heading on the second page, but there is a way if I would if I gone into okay, control shift L, if I say use first page template, any flow starting at top of page. So let's see what happens there. You can close that. So that would give us a heading on every page. And if I wanted to, I could just replace that text, something that I want to put in there. Let's go back and take a look at flows because this is, this is interesting. I can add another instrument. Let's say, let's just put another instrument in, in here. And I'm going to go to fretted instruments. And this time I'm going to look for a bass guitar. Now you can type in, this can save you a little bit of time. I saw this on another video. So you can filter out bass guitar. I'm going to put four string bass guitar, right? And add that. So now we have an additional instrument here. Each one of the flows now has that instrument. Um, incidentally, what we've got here, if you don't do this in the first place, it looks like it's messed this up. The, these are some of the little bugs that are in this system. If, you, if you're going to do two instruments, you may be better off uh, starting, you know, just start the thing out with two instruments. A little bit of planning ahead can help. Now, there is, since we have two instruments, we're looking right now at the full score. We should also be able to select the individual instruments. I don't know if this is disabled, but if you go to setup, what I found is, I believe these instruments still exist. So we have full score, guitar, and bass guitar. 
All right, so, so we have these other instruments um, as separate instruments. That's something else that you could use to your benefit because each one of these can be customized. Let's say I want to change this to, to only show tab. Then let's, let's see if we can do that. If, I, if my understanding is correct, I should be able to go into here. Uh, this is on the player's fretted instruments and it says notation only, notation and tab. Let me change that to tablature, apply, and see what that does. Now we have this on under guitar. Uh, let's see if we go back to uh, full score. Full score is showing both notation and tab. And uh, the bass guitar is currently showing the bass clef. You know, you've got a lot of flexibility and a lot of interesting things that you can use here to create a nice layout. This page is a little bit messed up now. It looks like we've got the, the, the heading for the first floor, which is up here, down here. And I found these kind of issues in the pro version also. Uh, let's just go to the guitar. Let's see what we've got here. Under guitar, uh, we have this. So let's say I wanted to put that flow two before flow one. I can do that like that. So everything is independent and it gives you a lot of flexibility in how you want to print things out. And, and uh, let's say you didn't want to put, uh, have this here, you could, you could delete that, give it another heading. So you also have another heading right there. Um, I'm just curious now, will that be able to, you could even put that uh, justify the, uh, on, the, on the right side over there. This is actually really powerful software for free. It's made for making very nice looking music, whether it's tab or standard notations. Typically, I like very simple software, but this is one software where I've spent quite a bit of time, uh, but I, I think it's worth it. And I think that they're on the right track. Um, they're just some some little buggy things in there that hopefully they'll they'll get around to it. But uh, even as it is right now, it's, it's usable. And I think it's a great product. Get the free version. If you really like it, then perhaps that's gonna inspire you to get the full version. Stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.